Hi, my name is Kiri Wu and I'm the business librarian at the Portland State University Library. In this video, I would like to share some tips on researching consumers. Generally speaking, people are interested in three types of information related to consumers. Demographics, preferences, and behaviors based on particular products or services. Demographics and lifestyles on particular groups of people or life stages. Demographics and lifestyles based on a particular geography. For market-based consumer information, most industry profiles will mention consumer trends and how they may impact the industry. However, market research reports are where you can find the most in-depth data and analysis on consumers. You will learn things like why people purchase a product or use a service, factors or features they care about the most, and sometimes even detailed information based on factors like gender, age, and income. Market research databases also provide general profiles on particular groups of consumers. For example, in the Mintel database, information on baby boomers, kids, sports fans, and so on. You can find articles on consumer behaviors based on academic research in library article databases like Business Source Premier and Google Scholar as well as some free consumer insights from non-academic sources through a general web search. You can even slice and dice the data based on some very specific consumer attributes to discover the underlying behaviors, preferences, and attitudes. For example, in the Simmons Insights database, you can create a general demographic profile of hiking enthusiasts, or compare demographics and attitudes of different groups of consumers. As this is a short, concept-based video, I won't be going into details on how to find consumer information in specific databases. For step-by-step -step instructions, please click on the question mark next to a database for a tutorial. Market research reports are abundant, but oftentimes very expensive. While the PSU Library subscribes to several excellent databases, due to budget constraints and license restrictions, we usually cannot purchase individual reports you find online if they are not already part of the resources we pay for. Feel free to contact us nonetheless, as we may be able to suggest other resources or a different way to approach the question. While well, consumer profiles are often available in established markets such as foods and beverages, there may not be readily available information on a niche or new product or service, or maybe the data you want are not part of the research report available to you. In that case, you will need to consult other sources such as industry associations, government agencies, trade publications, newspapers, industry expert blogs, and so on. You may also need to broaden your scope to look at the larger market you are in, as well as the product or service that you are competing with. For example, if you invent a one-of-a-kind robot that can do 90% of the household chores, you may not be able to find information on consumers for the house chore robots industry. Instead, you can gain insights on your target market by analyzing consumers of existing appliances such as vacuum cleaners or lawnmowers as the robot is positioned to replace them, or even customers of house cleaning services. All of the above is what we call secondary research, as in you're reading what others have done on your topic. However, since the studies or articles were created by others, they may not contain the answers to your specific questions, or maybe the content is a bit dated. You will need to do primary research such as interviews, focus groups, and observations to find exactly what you want to know. Secondary research informs primary research, provides context, and inspires questions. For example, after learning more about consumers for your industry, you may have specific questions about consumer attitudes towards a new product or feature. In that case, talking to your target customers is the best way to get the most current and relevant information. Location-based consumer information is available for free from several government websites such as Census and the Bureau of Labor Statistics. However, information may not be as specific as you want. For example, there may be data based on regions, states, or metropolitan areas, but not your town or zip code or neighborhood. You will have to infer from the broader datasets. 
Some library databases provide user-friendly searches in datasets from government agencies such as the census and even some proprietary sources. Websites like MyBack Segments and ESRI are great resources for location-based consumer demographics and lifestyles. I hope this video helps you get started with finding consumer-related information. Here's a recap. If you have any other questions, please feel free to contact us. Thanks for watching.